Okay, um, this is what you should know in this unit at this point. We've got a couple, about three more lessons to go. Okay, um, graph the equation. Um, it's just a line, okay? So it makes a line. So you have y and x, so you want to make sure your y is by itself, and then use your mb. Okay, so m is 4, b is minus 3. You want to make your m a ratio of 4 over 1. So slope. 4 over 1, and then the y int would be minus 3. So on the y-axis, I go down 1, 2, 3. Then from there, we go forward 1, up 4. Do it again. Okay, and there's, that's good enough. You keep doing that forever if the graph was longer, but it's not. So there we have it. Okay. Okay, next one. Now you have y and x both here, but your y is not by itself. Well, get it by itself. Dot the y and circle it. Positive, so put a check mark. You're not changing the signs. You just check it, don't change it. So get rid of that negative 3x. You add 3x and you create a 0x and add 3x to that. So it's going to be 3x plus 15. Then you divide each thing by 5. If it's a decimal, we are not putting it. We are going to leave it as a fraction because fractions in front of the x are good because that's your slope. Decimal, leave it as 3 fifths. Then 15 divided by 5 is 3. Okay, that's good because I have my M and my B. Y equals MX plus B. Slope 3 fifths plus 3 is the Y intercept. 1, 2, 3. Forward 5, up 3. Can't do it again, that's okay. Okay, um, next problem. Well, you're not going to do M and B because you're missing the X. You can't be put missing X. So when you're missing one of the two, you don't have a slope, okay? You make three coordinates. Now forget about the one you're missing for a second. What's the letter I have? I'm not missing Y, and it's equal to 7. So all of my Ys are filled in with 7. 7, 7, 7. Okay? Now the letter you're missing, you can pick whatever you want. Pick three simple numbers. Let's go 1, 2, 3. It doesn't matter. Okay? Okay, then 1, 7. Go to the middle, you go forward 1, that means right 1, up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then, when you're dealing with coordinates, as you plot them, you go back to the middle. Now, forward 2, up 7. Forward 3, up 7. Okay, and that's why the line doesn't have a slope. Okay, there you go. All right, now the next one. You're writing an equation in slope-intercept form of the line. Write an equation. Just those words means you set up the y equals blank x plus blank m b. Okay. Okay, remember what m means. m is the slope. b is the y int. Okay. Now, to find your slope, you need two points. Have point one go down the y-axis right there. That's point one. Don't go backwards. Go forwards to get a point two. Do, 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 right there. Okay. Now, it's rise over run. Okay. Okay, so you start at point 1. Well, you'd have to rise downwards, so you count by negative. Negative 1, negative 2. So negative 2 is your rise. Then your run, 1, 2, and 3. Okay. 
Now you look at a multiplication table, but I'm here to tell you they're only in the first row, so you divide them each by one, which would keep them the same, negative two-thirds. That's in reduced form. Now your B, it's 0.1 from the middle. So you count squares from the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. Okay, write the equation of the line without the graph. So both of these problems, we go y equals space x plus space m b. Okay, so m and b. Well, this one's pretty easy. m is negative 2, so you have your slope. You don't have your b, so you do, when you don't see a graph, you have to find b with y equals m dot x plus b. So m is negative 2, and then 3 is y, and um, negative 2 is x. b plus, okay, 4. Minus 4, minus 4. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. You should be getting that by now. Okay, okay now this one I'm trying to accomplish the same thing. Now, if I do not have the m, the slope, okay, that's where y minus y, x minus x, because I can't do 0 0.1, 0 0.2 on the graph, because I don't have a graph, and I don't really want to make one, okay? So look at your x's, compare them, you got 8 and 4, okay? That's your highest one, okay? So, 8 on bottom, negative 6 above it. Then negative 2 above, uh, and then 4. You can go plus, plus there. Negative 6 plus uh, 2 is negative 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. You can go plus negative, it's still 4. Now, you don't really need the table. You would divide each one of those by 4. Now, remember that rule I told you a couple weeks back. If you end up with a 1 and it's on bottom, you can get rid of it and just put negative 1 there. But it has to be the number 1 and it has to be on bottom. B, Y equals M dot X plus B. So my M is found, negative 1. For the Y and the X, it doesn't matter. I'll pick the second one. You can pick the first. You get the same thing if you do it right. Times 8. B plus, and you take negative 1 times 8, it's negative 8. Okay. So then you plus 8, plus 8, negative 6 plus 8 is 2. 2 equals B. Now, the next page, I kind of screwed up on something. Okay, I do not want to do this problem, but we're going to write a couple of other problems. I want you to put right equation, and on the first one I want you to write parallel to y equals negative 3x plus 1 through 2, 5, okay? And then the next one, I want you to put that word perpendicular y equals negative 3x plus 1 through 9, 4. Okay. Okay, so you're still writing equations, both of them, y equals blank x plus blank, and then down here is the same thing. MB, MB. Now here's how you find the M when it says parallel. You circle parallel and write same M, same M. So I go to this equation, block off my y, it's by itself, mb. Now cross out your b, you don't care about that. 
so m would be negative 3. Okay. So it has to be the same thing. Now the b is still y equals m dot x plus b. You have to find your own b. Okay. So the m is negative 3. So 5 is y and then times 2. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Then you plus 6, plus 6, that's 11. 11 equals B. As soon as that's filled out, that's your answer. Perpendicular is a different ball game. You circle that, but you don't use the same M. You do, it's three points off. Okay? Or however. You flip M and make it opposite. What's that mean? Well, let's find the M first in the other equation. Get that plus 1 out of there. Well, to flip M, you'd have to put a 1 under it. Now flip it to 1 over 3. Opposite. Well, that's negative, so mine's positive. Okay? So 1 third is my M. And then B is the same thing. Okay, so the M, 1 third. So 4 replaces the y, 9 replaces the x, and i got to use some fraction configuration here. It's 3. Four minus three is one, so one goes here. Okay, there we go. Now a couple story problems, and I will get to what you're doing, which is pretty minimal here today. You have already placed 175 pieces on a puzzle. Each minute, you place 10 more pieces. If you see each minute, that's the same as per minute. Per minute, you place 10 more pieces. Write an equation in slope-intercept form to model the number of pieces placed. Then use the equation to find how many pieces have been placed after 50 minutes. Okay. So your two units are pieces and minutes. The time is the x. And the pieces is your y. So per, that would be pieces per minute. Pieces per minute, you got 10, 10 dot x. So when you have that 10 dot x, it's 10 more. So you go make your table with the x, y. Pieces is y. Please label this. Minutes is x. Now when we have our pieces per minute, we go 0 to 1 to 2, then block it off. Okay. Now, if I don't know that, I do 0, then block it off. But when I go 0 to 1 to 2, I block it off. Now, we started with 175. Then you add this value here every time you go up by a minute. So plus 10, plus 10. Now, that's top half's filled out. Now, the bottom half, 50 minutes. Put 50 in the minutes column and put a question mark with your pieces. That's what you don't know. Now make your line and write your equation. Okay, this is easy to do. This one, the next one's kind of tough. Okay, equals y. Well, y started at 175. We're adding 10 pieces every minute. Okay. Guys, if you write equals 50, that's ridiculous. Okay, you put e you just copy that down. Now x is 50. So slash out your x and put 50. You have no business putting 50 in for y. Y's pieces at 50's minutes. Now that leaves me with y. Well, y is by itself, so I just bring it all the way down here. Circle that and calculate it. Okay. 175 plus 10 times 50, 675. Okay, that's your answer. You can put it up there with your question mark if you want, just to make more sense of it. Okay, now this one's a bear. I'm downloading an extremely long video to a computer. After four minutes of uploading time, there are 501 megabytes left to download. 
After 15 minutes of uploading time, there are 468 megabytes left to download. How many minutes will it take the entire video to up upload, download? I'm sorry, it should all be uploaded, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. So megabytes and minutes, just put MB and MIN. Minutes is your X, MB is your Y. So per MB, this takes a little while. Well, the first problem I have is I'm not able to tell what the megabytes per minute rate is, so I put question mark. So, how do I do the different table? Well, megabytes is what label, minutes is X. You don't go 0, 1, T, you go 0 and block it off. Okay, now you come down for the next half. Okay, 4 minutes and 501 megabytes are in the same sentence. Okay, place them. 15 minutes and 468 megabytes are in the same sentence. And then we have zero megabytes, but we don't know how many minutes go with that. That's the answer to the problem, minutes. Now, if you look at your megabytes, they're going down. Well, that means you had they had to start somewhere. You just don't know where. So B, so that means you jump over here, and you got to do Y minus Y, X minus X. Okay, because you are making your line, there's just going to be a B at the beginning of the line. Okay, well, in order to find B, we need to find the megabytes per minute first. I got my X, Y points right there on the table. 15 is higher than 4, so I put 15 minus 4, and then 468 minus 501. Okay, well, you can go plus negative on those. It's going to be negative 33 over 11. Now, it's a story problem, so you divide. Don't, don't go to your multiplication chart. Just divide. It's negative 3. Now, that's very important that we have that because we're adding negative 3 dot x. Okay? Every minute, you'd add negative 3. You'd go down by 3. Now, your b... That's y equals m dot x plus b. The m is the negative 3. Okay. As far as x and y, look at your table. That's why you make it. x is 4, y is 501. Negative 12. Okay. Then add your 12. 513 is your B. Guys, that ain't the answer to the problem. Okay? That's what goes at the beginning of your line. The, all you have just found is what your megabytes began with. 513. You are not done until you found that question mark. Okay, so 513 plus negative 3 dot X equals Y. And now we're going to find our question mark. Well, Y needs to equal 0. Get that out of there. Y is gone. It's history. And now I need to solve for X, but it's different than the last problem. Your X is over here, and it's got operations, a plus and a times. So we circle the times. We get rid of the number that's outside of there as adding, so minus 513. by negative 3. Remember, you're dividing a negative by a negative here. I should not see a negative answer in the corner. Set 171. Okay. 171 minutes to get to 0 megabytes left to upload. Okay, here's the assignment. It's relatively easy. You can put the calculator away. You don't need it. For each table, describe the type of correlation. This is always going to increase. What generally is happening here? You don't need to find every st step. You just need to tell me. Is it going up or going down? It's going down. So that's a negative correlation. And we're going to apply this tomorrow to something a little more complicated. 
Now this is always going to be going up. Your X always goes up and your Y. Now I know some of them go down, like here it's going down, but generally when you look through that, what would you tell somebody from here to here? Is it going up or going down? It's generally the correlation is going up. Now does that mean it's going up every year? No. But in generally speaking, it goes up. It shows a positive correlation. Okay, the latitudes x, that will be increasing. That's your independent variable, so that always increases. What's general? Oh, that's obvious. It's going down, so that expresses a negative correlation. That's all you're doing, okay?